Three days ago, students at CU Boulder moved into their dorms ready to begin the new school year. And last night, the unthinkable happened. A female student was sexually assaulted in her dorm room by a male who knocked on her door to get in. Denver 7's Brian Wang joins us live in Boulder at CU's campus. And by a student you spoke with, understandably just horrified about this. Yeah, they really are, and we've been seeing a lot of important conversations take place between students and parents after they learned about this incident. And right now, the sense I'm getting is that they're just really on edge right now because there is no indication that the student victim knew who the suspect was. And it was like the first thing that I saw when I looked at my phone, and it was really unsettling, especially here on their first week at campus. Incoming CU Boulder students received an alert of a sexual assault overnight at the Williams Village North Resident Hall located on campus. The victim reported that someone knocked on the door of her residence hall. She answered the door. The person entered her room, grabbed her by the neck, and sexually assaulted her. CU Boulder Police only providing a vague description of the suspect, describing him as a white college-aged male with dirty blonde hair about six feet tall, last seen wearing a gray or white shirt and sweatpants. Do you guys have a name? We do not. So you guys at this point can confirm you don't know who the suspect is? I'm not sure at the very moment, but I do know that the suspect has not been apprehended. Incoming freshmen telling Denver 7 purchasing textbooks, organizing school materials, and making new friends are taking a back seat on their priority list. I feel worried about my safety right now. We're, I actually have a meeting on my, for my floor meeting at 3 today. We're supposed to talk about it, so we're all kind of just heads up. Parents helping their students to move into dorms, urging them to be vigilant. Uh, they were just telling me, just like, be safe, be smart, keep your head up. Other parents just learning about the incident. I, I, I can't put into words how, how uh, horrific this is. CU Boulder officials released a statement Thursday saying in part, we understand that for members of our campus community, this may be impactful. We want to reassure our students, faculty, staff, and CU Boulder families that campus safety is our priority. Students seeking additional support and counseling following Wednesday's incident or asked to call 303-492-2277 for school resources. I probably won't leave my roommate anymore. Like we'll go to do things together and if we come back we lock the door, um, not letting each other out alone at night. For now, CU Boulder Police says they are increasing security and patrol here on campus, not just to keep an eye out for this alleged suspect, but really to restore a sense of safety that really kind of feels lost here. In the meantime, they ask anybody with information in this case to call the detective investigating this matter. That number is on your screen right now. We're reporting live in Boulder by Ann Wang. Denver 7. Yeah, they better get to the bottom of this soon. Thank you, Bayan. And by the way, if you or someone you know needs help or you need someone to talk with, that help is available. You can call the number on your screen or you can text the word talk to 38255. You can also dial 988 on your phone to also be connected with a trained mental health counselor.